Cheers! Australia, the land of stunning landscapes, beautiful beaches and unique wildlife. If you are new here, good day, we are Sarah and Igor, two full-time travelers exploring the beautiful country of Australia with our camper van and enjoying all the natural treasures this country has to offer. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to our Australian adventure. We are right now at Crescent Head, which is like a beautiful place with a viewpoint on some amazing beaches, some nature and maybe also some whales. We just parked like five minutes away Way, so it should be an easy hike to reach like the best point where you can see all the beauty surrounding us and of course we are also right now on our way towards Sydney we can't wait to finally reach this world famous metropole and to see all the popular buildings once we are there but of course we're gonna enjoy also all the beautiful stopovers while we are driving there with all other little towns big beaches and some really stunning nature while you're walking through the bush you should stomp really hard to scare all the snakes so this is what i'm doing now and the bush walk it's only about five minutes so it's quite it is quite easy and now should be the viewpoint okay should i get excited you're always decent it is beautiful it's amazing okay let me <laughs> wow oh my god oh my god this is so pretty that is pretty as i said only five minutes of walk but you can also walk through the bush all the way to gold coast so but we're gonna stop only here but this is definitely beautiful you've got water you've got a little bit of beach and you've got stones Wow, really nice. Especially the shape of the stones is so unusual, right? We are going to visit Hospital for Koalas. It is a rescue center. And you know that we are a little bit critical about places like this, but this seems really legit. Got really good opinions on the internet. So let's take a look and let's check if koalas are not sleeping. Sarah's first koala. I want to cry. And his name is Evans Head CV. He's a man. Well, he was found walking in circles. Oh, he's so cute. They look so fluffy. I really want to touch them. Let's go touch the stuffed animals in the shop. <laughs> At least. <laughs> yeah, I guess Koala is better when you touch him. This one's really soft. So cute. Sarah and me just fell in love with these cute animals. Koalas are the cutest and this place is really amazing. They really take care of the koalas. It's not a zoo, but we really appreciate. They really love these animals. You don't have to pay an entrance. You can donate. You can even adopt a koala. And if a koala is like healed and ready to get back into the wild they even let it free in case of really hard injury those koalas can be set free so they will stay here for the rest of their lives unfortunately but even better than to go back and not survive there and also some fun facts so koalas live up to 25 years they had even one year which was 25 years they can pull up to 200 times per day also the alpha koalas when they have to defend their territory they really try to avoid to fight with other koalas because yeah they are koalas and they like to sleep 80 to 20 hours every day i think in the next life i want to be a koala <laughs> you are a koala not the next life you are a koala you also want to sleep 18 to 20 hours a day and i'm the cutest then <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys! Today we started our day very very productive. We went to the beach. Beach is called number one and it was really nice. We needed some time to relax, to stay on the sun, to bathe and to have a really nice time together. But now we are heading to our campsite. Oh, hello guys! Also from my side. So we finally found a campsite which is pretty nice and also the price was reasonable we are paying 40 australian dollars for powered site including water so this is a quite nice price and 
every time we come to a power site we have to recharge all our stuff it's quite a mess but we do this like once in a week so it's definitely the best chance to get everything fully charged and let me show how this mess always looks first of all we put already our chairs and our table here so we are ready for the dinner later and Sarah is now relaxing <laughs> trying to relax so unfortunately with all our adapters we don't have space and we can use both outlets but we use one and here we have like one cable here we have like three sometimes up to four cables and we are trying to charge like our vlog batteries our power bank our airpods our drone batteries the laptop sarah's ipad which is over there and our phones and also like our controller from the drone it is definitely quite a mess and we always have to think what do we need to charge because when we are driving we can just charge like one or two devices while we are driving once the car is not driving we are not able to charge anything that's why we always have to think in advance but I hope we didn't forget anything well, stopover in Newcastle was definitely a great idea. The viewpoint from here is absolutely amazing, but wait till you're gonna see the swimming pool. It is mind-blowing, really. Wow, this place is so beautiful. You have like a natural pool made out of rocks and some people were brave enough to jump into the pool. First of all, it's freaking cold. Second of all, there are always like huge waves coming in. They definitely refresh you again, but it's also like fresh water from the ocean. So you have to be brave enough because it's quite powerful, but definitely one of the most beautiful things we have ever seen. It's such an amazing place here in Newcastle. Initial plan was to visit Newcastle today, but when we've seen this beautiful park, King's Edward Park actually, we decided to spend here all day. We've got our breakfast, our coffee ready, and we're gonna enjoy the beautiful weather. Cheers. <laughs> Coffee doesn't count if you don't do. Ah. Yes, it Isn't Australia one of the most beautiful places on earth? We didn't actually plan to come to this area where we are now. We were heading to take unfortunately a cold shower for today and then we came to the bar beach which is actually also a fun name for a beach. And this beach is just picture perfect. It's like really long white sand beach, beautiful waves, you have even like the sunset, it's like a golden hour, it's just perfect, it's more like mother nature was in a really good mood and she was like okay let's make this place one of the most beautiful in the whole earth. Today we are starting our day with house hunting, of course we've got no money and of course we will not move here even if we want to, but neighborhood where we parked our car really beautiful so we decided to take a stroll and admire all the beautiful buildings around. I really like this street is it called Crown Street. We've got a lot of restaurants, coffee shops, we've got some stores. Most of them are closed today because it is Sunday but during the week they are open so this must be really lively area. You also got a tram in here which I didn't even know that there are some trams in Australia. This is the first time we see it. Newcastle is a perfect town to make a stopover here and to enjoy all the beauty. It's really a fantastic place. They have really stunning beaches. They have even this natural rock pool. They have also here like a beautiful old town hall, another church up the hill, some really cute coffee so you can hang around, snack something, drink delicious coffees. Definitely Newcastle. You have to put it on your list and don't miss it out. Welcome from Sydney guys! With this stop we reach half of our road trip and we are super excited to have two more days to explore this amazing city. 
I'm so so happy to be back in Sydney. I was here many many years ago and looking forward to visit all the places but I'm even more looking forward to present all the places to my Serunia. <laughs> of course we had to start our day with famous opera house which is like an icon from Sydney and today in the morning when we woke up when we were doing planning or actually Igor was doing most of the planning I just told him that I want to start today's day in the front of opera house and see it finally in person. It is pretty amazing I need to say. Next to the world famous opera house, you have also quite popular Sydney Harbour Bridge. And what's really special about this bridge is that you even can pay to walk over the bridge. So you walk like basically on the top, you take like this tall curve, which is definitely a stunning experience. But of course, it's not that affordable, it's a little bit higher priced and also we need definitely to be brave enough to do it but I know that also even Will Smith was once here and he did it so probably one of the best experiences you can do here in Sydney Sterling Harbour is a very popular area for a walk, maybe not in the sun as this one because we are really sweating, it's so hot today, more than 30 degrees so we are melting, but anyway, back to the topic, it is really pretty area, a lot of restaurants, a lot of bars, especially at the evening, it must look nice, and of course you've got water and all the ships are on. bought this hoodie it was just extra large size and small they didn't have my size and I was in love I convinced him to buy it for him so I can wear it and now we are in Sydney and I finally found it so this is size large and it's a little bit like oversized what do you think <laughs> yes <laughs> got it. <laughs> We're still considering it because I wasn't sure about the size but it is perfect. I'm so happy. Welcome on our second day in Sydney. Today we are starting at Angel Place where you can admire 50 bird cages and you can listen to 50 bird songs. Those songs and those cages represent the 50 birds which were living back in the days in Sydney but once the European came and started to settle in the city they unfortunately left. In many cities you've got beautiful shopping malls but this one is really special. It's designed in this old fashion, beautiful colors, beautiful windows. People are staring! <laughs> yeah, it is definitely special, very beautiful. Of course you cannot afford anything, maybe something sweet or maybe a cup of coffee but regarding of course we cannot afford, we are not in the position to buy anything but window shopping is still a great idea. I guess the floor is original and also all the details like this one looks really original except that the stained glass are amazing and also the balconies, pretty pretty amazing building. It's ice cream time. Igor understands me without words. We were just walking to the church and I've seen the ice cream. I turned around, I said, after that, and he was already nodding his head because he knew what I want. Oh, we need to hurry up. Oh my God, so good. Sydney is definitely one of my favorite cities in the whole world and I think I'm also now a little bit convincing Sarah that she also likes Sydney. You have the big city life, you have historical places like the town hall, like the cathedral, beautiful park, amazing ice cream. So we are really, really in love with Sydney. Except this really annoying place. Yeah, I don't know where they're coming from, but you even see all the people around are trying to yeah, get wave. away from them. Yeah. But it's impossible, they're crazy really, like they want to be swallowed by you, really they come so close. <laughs> 
When I was first time here in Sydney many many years ago, I also saw the opera house from the other side of the river and then I told my friend who was traveling with me, I have to go to the opera house and she was like, but you see it from here much better, you see the whole opera house, but I told him I have to touch it. And of course, let's stick to this old tradition, <laughs> so let's touch it. I really feel the power <laughs> and the aura of this Cine Opera House. I love this building. Now it's your time, Sarah. I don't want to touch it. Go for it. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn, Sarah. Touch the Opera House. Good feel? job. <laughs> <laughs> you feel it? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful people, today we are exploring the area a little bit outside of the city of Sydney. And as you can see, today we have a partner look because Sarah bought the same hoodie as I did. Oh yeah, she, it was actually her idea. She liked it even more as I did. We are now heading to a lighthouse which looks really stunning on the pictures and first our maps drove us even to a military basis, so we almost broke the law, but nothing happened. We really turned at the right time, at the right moment, so we are fine. And now we need to walk instead of driving there. It's just a quick hike, 15, 20 minutes. And then we will finally arrive to probably one of the most beautiful and cutest lighthouses here in this area. <laughs> oh God. Guys. We didn't, we didn't thought through <laughs> the way to get here. There's a lady bay beach, right? And it is a beach for nude, naked people. And we didn't realize it. So it was like a small bay and I was taking pictures and then I turned around and there was a naked guy standing there just with his <laughs> hanging in the hanging and waving and the most funny thing was there was an Asian guy dressed full in pink who probably didn't know where he was he was walking and he was just wandering there around it was so funny <laughs> so guys we are finally at the lighthouse and as you can see it is unfortunately under construction but it was built in 1858 so we are not even mad about it need some reparation probably and also the paint is falling off so it's okay we still can admire the beautiful views from here so what basically happened was we had the idea of course to go to this famous Bondi beach and once we arrived there we were like mm, it will be really hard to find a parking place but it was surprisingly so many parking places there and we figured out really fast why is that so because it cost 10 Australian dollars per hour which is really really insane it's so overpriced but yeah it's a famous place that's why they can do it so basically if you would stay there for about five hours we would pay as much as we pay for overnight stay with electricity and with water so we said no way we are not doing that so what we did was we drove two kilometers aside from the Bondi beach to Bronte beach and from here you can even have a beautiful walk along the coast you will start at the Bronte beach past the Tamarama beach and then finish at the Bondi beach and the best thing about the whole coastline trip is that the parking here is even for free yeah we were lucky enough to find it right yeah definitely this coastline walk is so incredible you have like basically all the time another beach and in between you have some cliffs where you can go on them and enjoy the views and also look at the surfers how they try to catch the next big wave I really love this place I'm now even more happy that we didn't just stay on Bondi Beach that we did this coastline walk because it is one of the most beautiful things you can do here in Sydney it's really 
really beautiful. Just a little bit windy, so don't come to the edge and hold your hat. <laughs> Guys, we are finally at the famous Bondi Beach and we're gonna chillax a little bit here. We're gonna have our beach day. So that's why we're gonna finish this video right here. But we are still staying in Australia, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video and leave us a comment. And we're gonna see you in the next one. Bye!